Pioneers have been sent by this organization to Liberia, and we are now laying the foundations upon which the 400 million Negroes of the world will build. If you believe that the Negro has a soul, if you believe that the Negro is a man, if you believe that the Negro was endowed with a senses commonly given to other men by the Creator, then you must acknowledge that what other men have done, Negroes can do. We want to build up cities, nations, governments, industries of our own in Africa so that we'll be able to have a chance to rise from the lowest to the highest position in the African Commonwealth. Black man advocating Africa for the Africans at home and abroad. I'll tell you something that I shook his hand and it was like electricity going through my body, going through my He gave him two years in prison. The high executive that was elected to the convention was standing right there and made the statement. He said, at last, we caged the tiger. And Mr. Garvey replied with a handcuff on his hand. He said, you may have caged the tiger, but my cubs are running loose. His movement went on. Children of Israel, there are more black people than any black leader My life has great meaning to me. So I really search to find out if God is here. When I search, I look, I look in Ethiopia. I look all about, looking at Germany, you know, because we're not prejudiced. We look for God. We look in Ethiopia, and we see one man stand up with these names, Emperor Ali Isolasi, name King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Conquering Land of Judah, through the lineage of King Solomon and King David, written in the Bible. Yeah. In October of 1963, Emperor Haile Selassie addressed the United Nations on the theme of anti-colonialism and apartheid. One of the fundamental principles we have agreed upon at the Addis Ababa Summit Conference gives expression to our fundamental desire to live in harmony and cooperation with all states. On the question of racial discrimination, the Addis Ababa Conference taught to those who will learn this further lesson that until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned, until there are no longer first-class and second-class citizens of any nature. This man was really chosen in his second advent. Because my right is my right, like my life 
You know, all I have is my life. That means if I can say, I don't want that or I don't want this. When I check it out, the biggest man was a baby one time. So I don't know where to get all of these big ideas want to be rulers over people. See? And help enforce devilism. <laughs> Can't dig it. Kenyatta was the very personification of the state. Two credentials converged to qualify Kenyatta as the founder president. Martyrdom and the respect for elders. For a decade, Kenyatta had been imprisoned by the British. For a decade, Kenyatta had been imprisoned by the British. Malcolm X is an international figure. He's a United States delegate at an African unity conference. What language did you speak then? What was your name? It couldn't have been Smith or Jones or Bunch or Powell. That wasn't your name. They don't have those kind of names where you and I came from. No, what was your name? And why don't you now know what your name was then? Where did it go? Where did you lose it? Who took it? And how did he take it? What tongue did you speak? How did the man take your tongue? Where is your history? How did the man wipe out your history? How did the man, what did the man do to make you as dumb as you are right now?
Tubman returned south at least 15 times. She led as many as 300 people out of slavery. Tubman and others like her were the front line of a secret network called the Underground Railroad. Its purpose was to undermine slavery by smuggling fugitives to the north. will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. We are free at last. Thank you. 